Okay, so um, just going to show you how to do um, take your BDK wrapped bubble app and get it tested in the Google Play Store um, and ultimately then pushed out to uh, be live within the Google Play Store so people can download it. So I've logged into my Google Play console and you can see I've got my app, it's called Green Oval, it's sat here. It's what I created before the, the BDK build happened. You have to create the app here first, it's one of the first things you do, and then you let the BDK build go ahead. Um, once your build's done, BDK provides you with a little screen like this and you can download a zip file here which has got the build in it. And we'll come to that in a second. Um, first thing I've got to do is actually uh, upload the privacy policies because this particular app uses the camera but if you're using any of the native kind of features camera gps any of those things media etc you're going to need a privacy policy so i'm in my google play console i've clicked on the app so i'm now in the kind of app view of that and if i scroll to the bottom i've got a thing called app content under policy so i'm just going to click that um, and i haven't got a privacy policy you can see here so i'm going to click start and it's asking me for a url I already have that built into my app, so that's going to be it here. And I can save it down the bottom right here. Let's give that a go. Things are saved. Right, good. Go back to the app content. Good. So let's have a look. All of these got ticks against them now. Okay, so that looks good. Right. So if we now go back and we go to open testing, go here. Just going to delete this release because this is what I started to try to do earlier it wouldn't let me because I needed the privacy policy so I'm going to create a new release and I'm going to upload the file and here's the dot AAB that came from BDK so I'll start that process running and this takes quite a while um, because Google is doing some checking of the actual file as well and checking it against the privacy etc let's give it a name version test 1.0 Give it a name and see how we get on. So I'm just going to pause the video and we'll come back once this is uploaded. Okay, so our uh, bundle is now uploaded and you can see it's here. Um, so that's good news. It's done. I've saved it. So I've got it there and I can now click, I guess, review release. So let's have a click at that, see what happens. We've got two errors and three warnings. So let's see what that says. Your app cannot be published. Complete the steps listed on the dashboard. Okay. You need to add a full description to your store listing. Yeah. Okay. So, warning you, your app cannot. Okay. So, it's the same thing. There is no deobfuscation file associated with this app bundle. If you are obfuscated code uploading a blah, 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 the app bundle contains native code and you've not uploaded debug symbols. We recommend that, okay, so these are probably just warnings that I'm not going to worry about, um, except for the dashboard one. So let's go to the dashboard and let's um, see what I need to do. So it looks like I've done eight out of the nine. Okay, so the next thing it's asking for is uh, us to fill out the app details, the short description. Now I've, uh, I've actually got that because I've done that for the Apple one. So let's just grab it from the Apple one and we'll cut and paste it in. There's my short description. And here's my bit longer description. Got that. Go there. Stick that in there. Okay, I'm going to click save. So I'm guessing now I've got to do app icon, featured graphics, and uh, screenshots, etc. So I need to go and get those, grab those. Um, and try and get them uploaded. So I'll have a look at that now. So first we just need to check that the listing's all there. Got the app details are in. All the graphics are now uploaded. So uh, we're ready to go. All the screenshots are there. So if we just go back to open testing, we can see the build that we created or the release. Yep, and we can see we just need to click review and roll out. Uh, on there uh, yeah it's got a few warnings but you can see down the bottom right we've got this show rollout to open testing so we can click that button uh, there we 
go. We should want to do it. Yep, click roll out. Great. So we now have uh, it's paused for some reason. So it goes, must go into auto pause. So we're going to resume that track. Let's see, it's doing that. There we go. We should now have a release ready for testing uh, with a Android phone, etc. I know um, Google will now run some further tests on the app, so it might come back with some uh, issues, etc. Reports, etc. But we'll we'll see what happens. That should now allow us to to test it. I think that's it for for the now. We'll come back with uh, further videos, I guess, with uh, with any other for you know 